If you're anything like me, I bet you thought nesting was just for pregnant women. Well, guess what? It's not. I just realized I hit my nesting phase a couple days ago, and I'm going to share it here with you. Oh my gosh, guys. The realization of a new kid in about two months just hit me the other day. It was the most random thing too, but before we get into that, thank you all for tuning in to the Jack Leg Act. My name is Mushki, your guys' master Jack Leg. If you all want to become part of the Jack Leg family, just hit that subscribe button, get a notification for the next video, and welcome to the family. So, a couple days ago, I took my daughter out, she's about a year and a half, and we were just going out to the shopping store, and I was packing her diaper bag, and I was like, you know... The new kid's gonna need some diapers, like some newborn diapers. And then I just kind of went into this little bit of like a, a anxiety, a little bit of a fear, a little bit of panic. I was like, wait a second. I don't think we've bought anything for the new child. Like, you know, when you have your first kid, you go and you have like a baby shower, you have a wish list, you gotta get a crib, a bassinet the clothes, the diapers, the diaper bag, the stroller, the car seat. I mean, you get this huge list and you start piling all together. At least my wife and I did. And we felt like we were ready. You know, we were prepared. And that was probably three months before the due date, you know, because we just had it already. Now, like I said, here we are like two months away and I'm like, you know, I think the only thing we've bought, child number two, is the coming home outfit because we did a slight small family gender reveal thing with it. So we had to buy like two outfits. That's at least how we did it. Uh, so that's about all that we've bought for the new kid and we're two months away. So uh, I know my wife's gonna do all the sheets and all the, the room decorations herself. And as you've seen in the previous videos, if you watch them, I'll link it up above here. You know, she's painting the nursery and things like that. So what I loved to do, at least with the first child, was I loved going out. I liked taking her out and about, letting her see the world, you know. Uh, or one of the things you need to have to make that possible is a diaper bag. Real quick backstory on the diaper bag right here. My wife and I went out to the nearest department baby store when we had our first child. And we were looking at the diaper bags. And we seen a diaper bag like this, and then we seen a backpack one. And I was like, oh, I, I really like the backpack one. And uh, my wife's like, well, I like this one. Let me just explain this, okay? Most guys get stuck holding their woman's purse at some point in their time. You know, I know it happened to me. Uh, my wife and I dated for a really long time before we got married. So even as we were dating, if she said, hold my purse, you'd hold her purse. And as guys, as men, I feel like we partly try to hold the purse as awkward as we can, you know? And also, we just genuinely look awkward with the purse. So, when we have a purse, we're like, yeah, I got a purse, you know, you're holding it like a briefcase, or yeah, I got, a, I got a purse, you know, you're not letting it touch you, you kind of just, this is how you walk around, yep, yep, got my, got my wife's purse here, that's it, you know? You know, I know I did that too, you know, it was kind of that thing. Well, I had my first kid and this is the diaper bag that we got out of the handbag ones like this and the backpack that I preferred. Lo and behold they're like 70, 80 dollars so I was like you know Call of Duty, backpack, Call of Duty. So the video game went out and I was stuck with this. So my first, after having my first daughter I have grown to embrace the man purse, diaper purse, baby person. I wear this thing proud, right up on the shoulder, carrying the girl, and you know, it's one of those things that, you know, what you do when you have kids is, you know, you change and you adapt. So, it's definitely the purse bag. I'm definitely man enough to wear it. I think, it, you know, just, it works, it goes, so. If someone wants to send me a backpack diaper bag, feel free. Drop a comment, I'll send you a link, address, P.O. box, whatever we do, and you know, you can just send it on my way. So, if I'm gonna take the two kids out now, I need to make sure that the diaper bag is ready for both of them. So, let me show you guys uh, this diaper bag that I've got somewhat prepared for both children. I need to pick up some diapers, as I mentioned, for the newborn, unborn, for the new kid. So the bag is a JJ Cole. 
It has three compartments, a zippered one in the middle and two little uh, button ones on the sides. So real quick on the cloth, cloth side, I got some uh, spit up rags, I got some receiving blankets, uh, change of clothes because when they spit up, they spit up on themselves, a, which also comes with some socks and a cute little hat. And so my current daughter, she's a year and a half and she's in three T's. This is a newborn onesie. Like look at how tiny this is. I mean, you know, up to my arm, like crazy. I held this up to my daughter and I was like, there's no way you ever fit in that. But uh, so we, <laughs> so we got some change of clothes. Moving into the zipper bag, we got wipes. Big diapers for my older daughter. We got the cream. We got hand sanitizing wipes that do not go on butts. Hand sanitizing, you know, like antibacterial ones here. Uh, diaper bags, if you get into a spot where you need to change a diaper and there's nowhere to throw it, you're gonna wanna put it into a plastic bag. They sell this for like three bucks and there's 75 in there. Uh, and then last thing is a mat that you can unfold and use on a changing table so they're not in contact with that disgusting changing table that probably hasn't really been cleaned in a year and a half. Uh, diaper cream, not sure if I said that. A different diaper oven and that's what's in the middle. Now on the end, like I said, is just some uh, fun little toys. Things like that. Uh, my older daughter still loves these cars. She has like little uh, Hot Wheels ones, but when we go out, if she likes to drop them off the cart or off a table if we're at a restaurant or whatever, something a lot bigger is <laughs> easier to find and pick up than tiny little cars. So you live, you learn, you make mistakes, you you know get better at it, I guess. And last thing is like hand sanitizer. Uh, you know you can stash some bottles over here in the side. Uh, napkins, things like that for yourself, but so so that's like my diaper bag. Uh, I feel a little bit better getting those like newborn things in there. Uh, just at least getting the mentality of hey, you're gonna have a new kid here in two months. You just gotta be prepared. You know, I'm gonna probably make up a list of some other things around the house. Like, let's make sure we have this. Uh, but crazy, two months away, it's gonna just fly as time always does. So. Yeah, nesting hit me pretty hard just a couple days ago, so if you thought it was just for women, you'd have been wrong. I was wrong, I'm regretting, I'm paying the price, but that's me today's video. Uh, hit that like button if you enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button, become a Jackblade, join the family, and leave me a comment down below with what else I should be putting in the bag that maybe I haven't thought of. And until next time guys, Mushki out.